Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your April 2019 month monthly readings. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Alright, this is my second take, you guys. Uh, I did your whole reading. It was really long too. Uh, so it's probably best that it cut out. <laughs> it didn't cut out. I hit stop and it didn't record it or something. I don't know. It disappeared. We're uh, Mercury retrograde. You gotta love it. Okay, I've been MIA for a couple of months now. Uh, I do have good reasons. <laughs> It's called life. <laughs> All right. So I'm in a new location. I moved. Uh, that was quite a hassle. Took quite a bit of my free time up. Uh, so, uh, and my job requires long hours, you guys. Um, where I previously lived, it was four hours for me to travel back and forth. Uh, on top of that, my days, well, minimum are 10 hour shifts that I do. Uh, they are 10 hour shifts that the company requires. And they can drag out anywhere from you know, 10 to 14 hours. Uh, so I was getting very little sleep. And on top of that, I was back and forth between two places, which just, I had no free time. And then you got school, uh, you got family and life. Uh, and when I was moving, it was just all my free time was going to look into a place. And man, that was a hassle. All right, you guys. So I'm going to attempt to do this again. All the cards are out. So it's going to be no show and grow. Uh, I feel these readings are highly valuable. I don't know how many videos I'm going to get done. I'm not going to lie, you guys, because I've been gone for a while. Um, and I do have significant Virgo on my chart. I'm quite shy. Uh, so I get nervous when I do these videos. And it was like the anticipation of having to do them just like drove me up the wall. Because I'm shy, right? <laughs> so the first card you got was I am simple. The second card you got is... Uh, I am humor, and Sagas are quite funny, uh, on your good days. And then you got I am brilliant, okay? And the tarot cards that came out for you was the lovers. You have strength. You have the chariot card. The four of wands. The four of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles, all right? So what you need to know is that you, you have a firm foundation, okay? And those of you that think that you don't have a like material sensed uh, firm foundation, um, that would be because the universe, life, spirit, uh, whatever you want to believe in, has been working on uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, uh, making you yourself your foundation, okay? So you're that firm foundation, if you don't feel like you have a firm foundation in the material sense, it's because these lessons, um, okay, how can we say this? The knowledge that you have been given, um, mm, that's not going to come out right either. <laughs> There's a difference between knowledge and wisdom, okay? Anybody can get knowledge. We can all learn knowledge, okay? I can recite to you all the books and stuff that, you know, that I've read and, you know, the certifications that I've got, all those things that I've learned, okay? That's just knowledge, okay? Wisdom, though, wisdom is very different than that. Wisdom is when you're um, going through experiences, okay? So the experiences that you guys have been going through is to ensure that you yourself have become the firm foundation, okay? So it doesn't matter where you end up in, in your life's journey, um, you have that strong foundation, and it's you, okay? Others of you have a strong foundation um, in a different sense, in the material sense, you would have that strong foundation, okay? Uh, hopefully that makes sense, okay? What you need to know is that the simple things in life is what matters right now, okay? So you need to come down from this. Um, I don't want to say come down because that means that you guys are doing it, right? Some of them might, maybe that's why I said that, but not all of you guys depending on what you have in your chart, right? But it's like, you need to appreciate the smaller things. Don't worry so much about, like, because you've got the four of pentacles here. This is the miser card. This is worrying about, uh, excuse my hair from sticking up. <laughs> you got to, um, you don't need money to have fun, all right? The simple things in life that matter are like mother nature, okay? You have this I am humor. You got all this color in the car, right? The, the, the card, not car. Because they said car and you have the chariot, there could be an issue with the car, right? 
And that's where knowledge and wisdom is going to come into effect. Because yes, do you have the knowledge to fix it? Probably so. Anybody can get the knowledge. You can go online, watch a YouTube video. You got the knowledge, right? The wisdom, though, comes from an experienced person. So if you have something wrong with your car and you're thinking of fixing it yourself, it's saying not to. It's saying go to the person with the wisdom, okay? And the wisdom means they have experience. It's their forte. It's what they do, all right? Like, um, if you were their apprentice, then you would be able to do it yourself, all right? But there's some things that, you know, you got to cough out the money for because you're paying for the wisdom, not the knowledge, the wisdom, all right? Which is their experience, okay? Knowledge doesn't mean you have experience. Wisdom means you have experience, okay? With the I am humor, back to it, you have the, like, the yellow here, which is like the sun. Um, you got purple here, which is like spiritual to me. You got blue, which is like clouds. You got green, which is like grass, okay? Uh, the blue is also like water, ocean. Um, so you got like, I'm seeing flowers. I'm seeing um, water. Uh, terrain. So it's like mother nature is what I'm getting. The simple things are like going out, having fun. Um, so going for hikes. Some of you might, with the queen of pentacles, this is what you need to grow. And the queen of pentacles, um, everybody thinks, um, and we're going to mundane, right? Like uh, tarot is about spirituality. It's not about, you know, it's not a soap opera. <laughs> I feel like some readers make it, like, it's just like a soap opera when you, like, when they're reading the tarot cards. It's like, we're not shallow, all right? It's spiritual tarot. It's, it's, it's spirituality, right? Like, the Queen of Pentacles is not just, to become the Queen of Pentacles does not mean that you're wealthy and you have a crap load of money. And you're out there driving a Benz and, um, is Benz, like, an expensive car? I don't know. I don't know anything about cars, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's got a big house, you know, and quite often people that have those expensive cars and big houses, they're in debt. All right. It's just given the illusion, the appearance that they're well off, but they, their debt's going to go to their children, right? They care about more about the appearance. That's ego and pride. They want to portray a certain image to society. Okay. It's not about that. The queen of pentacles is actually quite resourceful. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles what will make you or her, him, okay, a, a queen or a king of pentacles is that they're resourceful with their money. Uh, they understand the value of a dollar. Uh, they're not going to spend money they don't have. And when they purchase a house, the house is going to be purchased. It's not going to be a debt. All right. They will drive the crappy car and it will be fully paid off. All right. So they're, they're, they're not in debt. They're able to save money for the house that they want. Okay, they'll rent a crappy little apartment uh, over uh, buying a condo that they don't have the money for. Okay, they start small and then they end up big. Okay, but they're using the resources that they have, but they're they're resourceful. So an example of that would be like, okay, it's not the woman that goes out and pays like $300 for a dinner. Okay, it, the queen of pentacles is a master, okay, experience, she has wisdom, so this is the person who um, would make a roast at dinner, and then um, she would be able to turn that roast, the leftovers, into multiple meals, she's resourceful, right, so she would take that roast, because a lot of people don't like leftovers, they get tired of eating it, right, or, so she would take the roast and make, like, roast beef sandwiches for everybody the next day for their lunches, okay, uh, she would turn that roast dinner, because you usually have potatoes and carrots in it, right? Um, she would turn that roast dinner into a pot pie the next day, okay? Or a stew the next day. She would change it up, right? Like, she's a master of being resourceful. Um, she doesn't necessarily hold on to her money, like, as tightly as this person. But she does hold on to it in the sense that she knows that she's worked damn hard for her dollars. So she's going to make it worth it. So whether you're male, male or female, this is... And asking you um, to be resourceful. But with the Queen of Pentacles as well, okay, she's a planner. Um, okay, let's say if she has children or he has children, uh, their child would be well-rounded in the sense that um, she would schedule out time for them to do their homework. 
And then she would schedule out time for them to have fun. She understands that they need to have fun, right? That's the creative time. But she holds people responsible and accountable, right? No excuses with this woman, okay? She will call you out. Like if she's the accountant, she'll call you out on spending too much money, okay? If she is your nutritionist, she will call you out on the things that you're eating um, that aren't good for you, okay? If she's your coach, well, then she will tell you practically what you need to do is like you need to put more hours in practicing, okay? Like she's she's not going to tell you things because she wants to hurt you. She's going to tell you things for improvement, okay? Like she holds you accountable. So, this is what you need to grow, is the Queen of Pentacles energy. If you're a male, that means that you need to um, see how one area of your life is affecting the rest of the areas of your life. Because a woman's mind works as a circuit board. Whereas a man, when he's after a... How can I explain it? If a male and a woman are looking for a new job, okay? The way the woman's brain works is different than the men's brain, okay? The men are looking at the task of getting a new job and they'll get it done. The woman's looking at the task of getting a new job and getting it done as well, except she's not going to take the job unless she's made multiple considerations. How is this going to affect my personal life? So how's it going to affect my friends, my family? Am I going to have time for my husband and my daughter or my son? Okay. If you're single and it would be like, am I going to have time for my schooling? Am I going to have time? She's making her, her job based decision not just on financial, but she's basing it on, because she will take a dollar less or $2 less for the ability to have the freedom of a better, um, simpler lifestyle. Like with her friends and family, she'll have more time for them. She has more time for school. She's able to be more practical and scheduled, right? Routine. She can have a routine. That's what she's after. So you guys need to develop, to de to develop these skills. <laughs> Mercury retrograde, okay? And what you need to grow is I am brilliant. So it's saying that you guys have these great ideas and stuff, which I think, and if some of you don't have solutions, getting out in Mother Nature is really going to improve that. So if you got friends and being simple, okay, instead of going to the bar, restaurant, going shopping, I don't know what people do. Um, this is talking about with the Queen of Pentacles, getting them together, going for a hike, having a picnic at the beach going and playing soccer, um, taking an art class even, okay, you got a lot of, like, with the four of wands in this card, it's art, okay, and art comes in many ways, it could be a poetry class, a pottery class, uh, I'm also seeing paintball and, uh, fun, right, paintball and, um, laser tag you can do if you're guys, I don't know, a fishing trip would be really good for you guys, but it's talking about being active and outdoors, enjoying the sunshine, stopping to smell the roses, okay? Um, you know, making time for the people that love you and that are part of your foundation, part of your life, okay? So that's like your sister, uh, your brothers, your mother, father. If you guys don't get together too often because it's like everybody's busy, they got their own life, everybody's on the go, the chariot is a vehicle, right? And this means like, uh, planning out once a month. This is the day that we're all going to sit down and have dinner. Okay, practically applying it. All right, making the time to go see them once a month. You can afford that. You can plan er your 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 lifestyle for the rest of the month around that one day you have to be available. All right, like you have to make the sacrifices and for the people that you love, they got to be nurtured like a flower. Okay, if you're unhappy. With the I am simple, I see unhappy. You got to simplify your life. Money's not the only thing that matters, right? Some of you might be thinking money's the only thing that matters. You got ego and pride here, all right? Let your ego and pride aside. Really look at what matters to you, whether that means, you know, uh, getting a new hobby and painting for a couple of hours or writing music for a couple of hours or writing a book or doing poetry or things that you think that aren't going to bring you money. That's fine. You don't need to get rewarded for what you do, you know, like it's whether or not you're having fun with it. Some of you guys, you might need to change where you live or your job because you've gained all of the um, wisdom available for you at that job. So, or that house, right? It's not offering you the lifestyle that you want. All right. And you got to ensure that you're questioning your wants and your needs here. Okay. Your wants and needs are two separate things. What you need and want are completely different. 
The universe will supply you with what you need, not what you want. Okay, so... You have to have the strength and courage um, and let your pr pride and ego uh, go to the side in order to achieve what it is you want. Like, so it's like if you want a better job or getting paid better money, uh, you got to be practical and grounded about it. There's work involved, right? Your hands got to get dirty. It's kind of what I'm feeling, which means I don't care how old you are. <laughs> okay. My mom's turning 55 this month. And she's gone back to upgrade her high school uh, before she goes to college to be a nurse. All right. There's age doesn't define you. All right. Your mind, your thoughts will define you. So if you think you can't do it, well, then you're going to be stuck in that. Um, this is what you need to grow. I am brilliant. Your ideas matter. You know, like your visions matter. The things you want matter. Okay. The people in your life, though, they matter, too. The love that they have, they matter, right? And in this card, I see two guys, okay? So this is, like, for you men out there, your bromance, right? You got a bromance? <laughs> Spend time with those, those, those guys. Have fun, all right? Go out on hikes. Um, adventures. I don't know, honestly, I don't know what guys, you know, fix up the car together, have some jokes, you know? But it's not talking about going out. In the, um, that what people would perceive as the queen of pentacles manner. She likes the finer things in life. Yes, she does, but she, she's resourceful. She creates the finer things in life herself. She simplifies, right? So, uh, she wants flowers all the time. She grows them. She's not going to go out and spend money on them when she can grow them, you know, like, um, You have to pick a direction, though, you guys. You're definitely, um, some of you guys, because the chariot is looking away from the, this is the way it's sitting, it's looking away from this, which means you're either looking away from, um, you're, you're turning a blind eye to your ego and pride being, being the blockage, uh, which is like, you know, people judging you. You're scared of people judging you and, they're not living your life. You know what I mean? Judgment means nothing. You know, if, you, if you're religious, well, then in the Bible, it states that only God shall judge you and he gave the power to Jesus. So they have the power of judgment. You know, like, I don't know in other religions. <laughs> I have studied a lot of other religions, uh, but I just know if you're like, believe in God, then, you know, that's one of the sayings where if you want a new job, you have to take the actions necessary for it. Okay, this is these are papers, which is like making your resume. Uh, you have the lovers here, which is like self love. I'm getting so you you need to not only show the love and appreciation to others, okay, but you need to self love. Know your worth. If you're unhappy where you are, then change a job. You know, if you're unhappy with the type of industry you're in, well, then get the education, uh, not the knowledge. Okay, the knowledge would be going out there looking for what it is you want getting the wisdom which would mean doing it the experience of it you have to do it okay you do have to be resourceful with your money though right you might have to make some um changes somehow okay but the queen of pentacles also talks about your health and your wealth okay so um you may have to get more physically active if you're feeling down then getting out and the sunshine is going to help you, all right? I do feel like some of you guys have siblings or a mother or father that you have to make time for. You know, just simple dinner, okay? Um, if it's your sister um, or brother, you got to get them... Okay, you have Gemini here. Gemini is an air sign. And this is like smoky. I don't mean... I mean like smoke so uh if it's an air sign that's a sibling uh their mind is cluttered and they need to get out into the fresh air so like a hike or something um i got strong aquarius in me <laughs> and i'm a sag so like my sister uh i get my family to do the most ridiculous things 
because I'm curious, right? That's a sad, right? You're, you're curious. Gemini's curious too. Uh, but one of the best things that me and my sister did is I got her to go tandem biking. And man, we had a blast. <laughs> we looked ridiculous doing it, but it was so much fun, you guys. I'd recommend that if you have a sister. I mean, there's nobody else to look like a fool with than your sister. Uh, or your brother, you know, your mother and father. But your health is important here. So that means going to those checkups that you don't want to go to, um, you know, depending on your age, uh, you know, if you've had a partner and you're no longer together, then you want to go get checked out, you know, sexually transmitted diseases do exist. Uh, just not ignoring it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? Or it's not happening. So I'm going to get your dental checkups. Um, Bring in your car in to get checked too, okay? That's important because this is known as a vehicle, okay? But with the chariot card, the chariot it, back in the day was known as um, the symbol of victory because they rode the chariot into their society or their village or their kingdom. They rode it in when they were victorious, okay? Some of you guys have a lot of, you know, you could be a comedian. I don't know if somebody's a comedian, but they're, I mean... Go to those uh, small little... Jim Carrey started out... Uh, my dad actually seen him when he first started out uh, back in Toronto. And just like a small, no-name, little um, club, pub type thing. Um, and that was years and years before he made it big. And I also think Jim Carrey... Um, if I remember correctly, uh, I think it was on Oprah... She's an Aquarius, Oprah. I mean, Aquarians are quite smart, you know? Like, And they're actually, you got the Queen of Pentacles here. Aquarians um, are excellent. I would even say past Earth signs here at building businesses, man. Foundations, excellent at it. You got a business idea, talk to your Aquarius uh, friend about it. They're brilliant at building foundations. Um, I got sidetracked there. But uh, Jim Carrey, I believe he said to Oprah, uh, before he made it, he, he visualized it, that he made it. Okay, so you guys may need to apply this, all right? You got to trick your mind here because you're in this glum phase and you are brilliant. It's saying work on that, okay? Like, I think he said he wrote a check to himself for I don't know how much money. And he kept it in his wallet for, like, more than 10 years before he even got even anywhere close to making that amount of money that was on that check. Uh, he manifested it, right? Like, he envisioned himself. I'm sure you can find that somewhere online. It might be um, something that you can look up, right? So if you're like a poet, a, po a poet, all right, you could do this. Artists do this. I can't see why you can't do it with um, with poetry. Is uh, They have poetry clubs and stuff like that. You can go to get your poetry out there. Some of you, like, you're nervous about it. So you've got to, like, um, get past that fear, okay? You do have fear here, okay? So you could have stage fright. That's more common than you think. I have stage fright. I mean, I don't exactly, um, especially like I wasn't doing these for a while. So uh, when I was coming back, I was like really nervous about it. I think it took me two days before I actually like got the courage to like, okay, we're doing this, right? Like, <laughs> I got to get it done, right? Like, like put your, put your, your, like your fear aside and just do it. You know what I mean? Like, I got that strong Virgo in me, so I'm quite shy. I like to be behind the scenes. I don't like to be front and center. You know what I mean? Like, I'm an observer. Where <clears throat> You want to be careful of your thoughts, okay? You don't want them to be dark and grungy. But as I was saying, oh, I got sidetracked. With poetry, okay, um, artists can do this. If you have art, you can sell your art. A lot of people are like, oh, I got to go to an art gallery and you know, like have an art gallery show. That's not how you get your art out there. Many ways of doing that, right? Which you can apply to poetry as well. Okay, so, or even if you make jams and stuff like that, all right? Like you can go to a restaurant and you can sell your jarred goods. Uh, you ask them, um, you know, can I display my stuff here? And then you would give them a certain percentage. I'm not sure how that stuff works. That's not my expertise, okay? Uh, <laughs> but you, you, like with your art, you would, you know, restaurants, dentist office, um, any local business where people are walking in and out, 
um, bracelets you can sell at restaurants and things like that. Little mom and pop stores usually are the ones that do it. They uh, like supporting their, their local um, community, right? So it's always best, you, you know, to knock on those doors. Uh, they put their artwork up in there and the person's name is on it and uh, their website location. And they can bid for the painting and buy it in those locations. Any business that it's in a dentist's office or whatever, it's a way of getting your art out there, right? Always put your website on there. You might want to get a website built. Uh, if you make bracelets, you can sell your bracelets uh, in restaurants and, uh, you know, tattoo parlors, uh bookstores, your local bookstores, game stores, stuff like that, you can get them to display a little bit of your stuff um, on, on the thing. There's many ways to do it, right? Always have a card made or your website there so they can go there, all right? Like, there's you, you got to be resourceful and creative is what it's saying, okay? Creative, I say that because you, you have I am humor, okay? And that's what you need to show, is I am humor, you got the strength card and the four pentacles, okay? So you need to show that you can laugh at yourself, all right? Uh, I want, I think I already said that. I wanted to do the readings in February for March. I didn't get them done though. <laughs> I just moved, uh, which took me forever to find a place. And uh, when I finally got settled in, I had a root canal that I needed done. And it swelled up really massive. My neck started swelling. My face started swelling. I mean, that's kind of funny. You know what I mean? Like, I was all like, yeah, I'm set. I'm ready to go. Let's get this going. And uh, I'm on track, you know? And then just <laughs> out of nowhere, you know? Like, <sighs> you got to see things a little bit differently, too. Like, your past, you got to find the humor in it. You know what I mean? Like, um, you gotta laugh about it. A lot of comedians, it's funny that we brought up comedians, right? They think, oh, a comedian, um, because they're funny all the time, that they haven't gone through things. That's not true. That's the complete opposite. Uh, comedians are quite intelligent. They got a very high emotional intelligence. Uh, the reason that they can make things funny uh, is through their experiences, right? And they perceive things in a different manner than, than say, somebody that's completely logical, right? Like, non-emotional, right? They understand that there's emotions involved in things, but they choose to um, bring a good emotion out of a bad emotion, right? Because, like, what goes around comes around, okay? Like, there's always good and bad, right? You, and if you can't find the humor in it, then, I mean... It's a pretty blah life you're living, you know? You can't take things all seriously all the time, you know? Like, you're here to experience things. And part of experiencing is making a fool out of yourself, making mistakes, uh, along with getting the brilliant um, success, right? Or ideas. If you have ideas, proceed forward with it. Be resourceful and be creative. Uh, you gotta, you'll be victorious. It is saying that. A lot of emotion's gonna go into it, though, somehow. Which means, like, there's going to be a lot of highs and lows, ups and downs. And that's part of the journey. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey, all right? If you're always focused on the de destination, then you're going to completely miss the journey, all right? And then you're not going to learn everything that you need to learn. Um, what you need to show is that you're courageous, okay? So it's like, if you're 30-something and you go back to school uh, and you have a sibling, and they've always thought about it, but they're like, nah, you know, or, but you decided to go back to school. You showed that courage, right? Your sibling is going to do the same thing, right? Because you, you, you just, it's like a domino effect. It's like, if you can do it, I can do it. You know what I mean? Like your courage is going to be courage for others. It's showing that, right? Even if it's stupidity, if you take a risk at a business and you fail, you know, you're going to get another idea and the failures from that business are going to apply to your next business. You're going to know what not to do. You know, like that's courage right there. Getting back up, right? If you're learning to ride a bike, you fall, you get back up, right? You're protected though. Uh, you do need to appreciate this, the smaller things in life, the finer things. I don't mean finer things as in, you know, um, a $300 restaurant. Okay. It's like, I am simple. It's like, potluck dinner, okay? Like, if you know it's too much for your mother and father to um, 
to cook for the whole family when they come over, do a potluck dinner. Everybody brings something over, right? And because financially, it's quite expensive when somebody's hosting a dinner. It doesn't always have to be, right? She would know that, right? She knows that she can, you know, buy celery and, and carrots and peas really cheap and just get some dipping sauce, all right? Like a lot of people go out and they buy actual veggie dip and they like charge three times the price for that. Whereas if you just got like a blue cheese salad dressing, okay, that can be a dipping side too. And it's third of the cost. Okay. It's like, uh, you got guys, instead of going to the pub, you all buy drinks and you bring them to the house, watch a baseball game. I would say not watch it though. I would say like go out and play. Like you got play here. So however you want to apply that, that's like, even if you're girls, okay, uh, volleyball, uh, tennis, go try something. Physically, you need to be active here. You got to try something. Uh, Go-karting with your kids. Um, if you do have kids and they're outside playing soccer or whatever, join them, all right? Like, I remember that feeling of when uh, one time my mom and dad joined us in a soccer game. We were all like, wow. Because <laughs> they hadn't done that stuff prior, right? And when they were doing it, we just thought it was so out of their character. And my mom was super good. That's also the day that me and my brother found out that our parents should not play games together. Super competitive, you guys. And Aries and a Capricorn. Uh, but they loved it. <laughs> uh, my dad, it's weird. Uh, in the moment... It didn't look like they were enjoying it at all because they're super competitive. But afterwards, my dad was so proud of my mom. Like, like, and I don't want to say this because it's my parents and it's kind of disgusting, but I think it turned him on. Like, he was like, it was, it's disgusting, you guys. They, but they learned something new about themselves, all right? After that day when they played soccer, um, we used to start going out and doing like bowling together. Uh, my parents started teaching us tennis and uh, skiing and we started going out and doing all these things where, and it took that one thing to spark it, you know, like to create a firm foundation where that's when they learn like, Hey, you know, this is fun. We can do this where this is much funner than sitting inside watching a movie. Right. Mind you, I was born in the eighties. So, you know, we had VHS, <laughs> wasn't too many options uh, but this is talking about like guys and girls going out and having fun uh, volleyball at the beach uh, packing a picnic even at the beach hiking you can always pack a picnic while you're hiking too uh, I do feel like somebody it's either you or you have siblings or good friends they need the fresh air I also feel like you're protecting people somehow and then some of you, if you're a man, you have a lot of emotions towards a queen of pentacles, which would be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. They could be undealt, um, undealt with emotions, or your pride and ego are, is blocking you from her, or, or hers is, one or the other. Mm, I don't see if she's good or bad, honestly. I just see a lot of emotions, and... Um, There's a lot of unspoken um, feelings, I suppose. So it's like if one of you are acting like you don't care, then um, it is showing that you do care and that your pride and ego needs to come aside. Mm, you could just talk things out and become friends. Or you could talk things out and um, see things differently, become lovers. Um, your ego and pride got in the way and their ego and pride got in the way. So you're both guilty of the same thing. Okay? And, you know... If you're thinking that things got too emotional, you know, love is crazy to people. Like, pe people are always like, uh, that person's crazy. Love makes you crazy. <laughs> love makes you do things that's out of your character and you can't control, but you learn new things about yourself and you learn things about the other person. So you can't really judge a person uh, based, based on um, them being in love, okay? The things that they do for love. I mean, we can do really stupid things when we're in love. <laughs> Doesn't mean that you judge the person for it or yourself for it. You see the humor in it and you realize that, you know, you're human. <laughs> you're here to experience, which, you know, there's no healing without feeling. All right. You got to feel in order to heal things. Okay, you guys. 
Uh, we do have one shaman card. It's the spirit of destruction. Hopefully this reading helped you out. It's all over the place. It's Mercury retrograde, you guys. And I'm going to read it from the book. Okay, it says, I am the spirit of destruction. My ass... My aspect may be fearsome, but my powers, although not always welcome, are forced for good. I have the capacity to annihilate any negativity, emo any negative emotions that may weigh down upon you. If any emotional obstacles block your path through life, I can destroy them. To invoke my strength is to test your own, as I will force you to confront the darkest recesses of your mind. If your heart is true, I can be a powerful guide. Okay, and... With the strength card here, Leo is also comes across as King Arthur to me. Uh, he's got the sword of truth because his heart is pure. There also may need to be forgiveness given, right? Like, and then it says, uh, when negative emotions plague us, they can ruin our contentment, damage our relationships, and undermine our sense of true self. Fear, guilt, resentment, anger, jealousy. All these can eat away at us spiritually. Positive energy and locking us into negative patterns of thought. The spirit of destruction has the power to annihilate such negativity. It forces us to address disturbing truths about ourselves and acknowledge that no emotion can operate without our consent. Such healing violence brings such healing violence brings an end to inner damage and the soothing sense of calm after a tribal storm. So, I am simple. There's some negative emotions here that need to be faced. Uh, and you need to be grounded to do so. This is what you got to work on. It's this energy here, here, male or female. All right, you guys. Hopefully this helped you out. Namaste, and I will talk to you next month. Ciao for now.